Hey, you guys. So um, I want to talk you through your first real, like, hands-on kitchen lab in this class. This is, to me, one of the more um, complicated and um, what high maintenance labs in this class. In our face-to-face -face Bio 1 class, this lab requires a lot of prep from our awesome stock room queen of everything, Marlena. And so in my brain, I'm thinking this is one of the labs where what you do for this lab is going to be more, like you're going to have more work in doing this online lab than our face-to-face -face students do because they have Marlena prepping things for them. You don't. So I've got the lab ready, and you'll notice, remember how I said that once the, once the lab is ready, I'm going to put a title on it. Once you see the title in your lab notebook, you'll know that you can go in and start messing with this thing. That means that lab three, four, mm -hmm, they haven't been dealt with yet, so stay out of there. Okay, but lab two, we're ready to rock. Um, as is normal, you have an introduction where this is going to kind of um, orient you, like, what we're, why we're talking about this stuff and, and how hopefully you've watched the chemistry lecture already, and now you're in here and you're ready to get started with this lab. Um, because of the prep work, you're going to have grocery lists. There are four pages in this lab. That means there's four different activities that you are going to have to do. The first activity that you're going to have to do has to do with just measuring pH. And I give you a little bit of background here, a little bit of reading stuff to kind of make sure that you remember what's going on with pH. And then I've got your grocery list. Now, look into my eyeballs. <laughs> this is me. Like, I made that grocery list sitting here thinking, okay, I think I've thought of everything. I went to our face-to-face -face lab. I looked at the materials list in the face-to-face -face lab, and I tried to put them all in here. And then I looked at my material, my procedure here where I'm telling you what you have to do, and I thought, I think I've got it all in here. If you find that there is something missing from this list. If you're like, dude, actually, Riggs, you should totally include a frenaflinaha, please add it to your procedure. Like, pl please add it to your grocery list. I'd love it if you, like, tagged it in a certain color or you somehow indicated, like, Riggs, I added this thing, because then I will go in there and look at it and be like, oh, dude, I totally should have had that. I'll add it to the master and it will improve the future online lab experiences for um, upcoming students. One of the things, I, I made a little list of things that I wanted to talk to you about, and one of the things that I want to talk to you about is, well, the first thing on the list is a pep talk. And the pep talk is that in exchange for you getting to take this class online, a whole bunch of you guys are graduating after this, and you're getting to take this class while keeping your jobs and not having to come to campus and all, all the benefits of doing an online class. Well, you, there, there are some disadvantages. There are some places where being in the face-to-face -face class is easier, and the lab component is going to be one of them. I really would love you to think of your lab notebook as a literal, um, I've thrown a procedure out there, but if you need to change it, if you're like, dude, she said I needed to use, like, um, like I needed to test ammonia, and I don't have any ammonia in my house, and I'm not going to go buy some, and so, and I don't have any bleach, and so I'm going to test, I can't think of a single cleaning supply because um, I'm not too, cleaning supply-ish. But, dude, test whatever you want. I really don't care. Just record it. Record what you did. These, like, the whole procedure is, um, it's, it's my vision of what 
I think will be beneficial to getting us to have the lab experience. But if your brain is engaged in this, you're actually going to have a richer uh, experience because you can, you can kind of design the experiment how you want to design it. Do you know what I mean? As long as it's um, meeting the same outcomes. So down here it says, don't be married to my procedure. That's what I mean. Like feel free to get in there and mix some stuff up. Again, I'd love for you to somehow note, like if you want to change the color of it or somehow note that I'm, I'm going away from the Riggs procedure and I'm doing this other thing, but I'm doing this other thing that is showing you that I understand pH and that I'm actually measuring the pH of various substances. The other thing that I want to talk about is, um, so feel free to mix up the procedure. The selfies. I want to talk about the selfies. The purpose of the selfie, the whole reason why they're in there really is about authenticating you doing the actual lab work. It's, it's just proving that you did it. In a face-to-face -face class, you're in lab. I'm watching you. I see you doing the lab or not doing the lab. If you are just sitting on your patootie and not participating, dude, I'm not giving you points for completing the lab. Like, I'm, like, sorry but I'm there and watching the whole thing. So this is an irritating part of the online scene that is going to um, accomplish the same thing that's accomplished by me being in the same room with you, which means you can decide how that is best going to work. I want to know that you really did the work. So if your selfie, the room suddenly changes and now the, the data, like the kitchen table is a different kitchen table, I'm probably going to wonder, like, dude, whose kitchen table is that and where did you get that picture, especially if you're not in it. But if you've established yourself in your kitchen and you've got a selfie that has you in it, then some of these things, like, you, your picture, you can take a picture without you in it. You can take a picture with your dog in it or your cat or your kid. And, like, I don't care. Like, get, like, relax. In fact, I think um, that's, like, don't be a perfectionist. Relax. And, and see how it goes. If something doesn't work, that's why we have our lab groups going on. One of the things that I'm hoping to do in this week is to match you up in lab groups, kind of coordinated with when you want to do the lab so that you all can know that, okay, we're all going to do our lab on Tuesday and then we can talk about it on Wednesday, or we're saving the lab. We're not going to do it till Friday. We'll talk about it on Saturday. That way people um, have others to talk about it at the same time. But if something doesn't work, it's like talk about it come up with some ideas about why it didn't work. This is the first time through. So it's entirely possible, don't tell anybody, but things might not work. That's okay. Like, I'm not expecting you to spend eight hours on a lab. Three would be my dream. If you could get through this whole lab in three hours, I would be so happy. Four might be more um, realistic because of the prep that you have to do. Like you're going to have to boil your cabbages in order to make a pH indicator. And that's just going to take time. And I'm not going to be there to answer your questions, so you're going to have to think things through. And you might have to ask your lab group for help. Like you're just going to have to be flexible. Um, okay, how are you? I wish that you could answer that question. There are, um, four sections to this. I don't know if I need to really, like, walk you through them all. I did make you data tables when necessary. And, again, if you want to adjust the data table, by all means, adjust it. Like, they all, everything in here, as you know, is completely editable. And so go ahead and edit away. The buffer section, um, I'm honestly, I don't know about my quantities here. 
Um, in the labs, we have hydrochloric acid, and we're going to try to use vinegar instead of hydrochloric acid because I figured that would be easier to come across. Um, we'll see if we can see it. I have a little sketch here where you can draw a graph of your data. Um, again, like you're going to be using your mouse. Like just relax. It doesn't have to be like a super precise, like crazy graph. Like I just want the idea of what you're doing. So you're good. You can do this. Um, I'm going to have you blow in bubbles. You're going to need a straw so you can blow some bubbles and some cabbage juice because you know you always wanted to blow bubbles and cabbage juice. And then this is the first space where I've got a bunch of lab questions. You are welcome to hash out lab questions with your group mates. So if you are like, dude, I got nothing on this lab question, take it to your group and see if, the, if your group mates can come up with something. If you find you're in a group and nobody is talking to you, shoot me an email because the group component of this is really important. And if your group mates are not coming to the table, I'm going to throw you in a new group and leave all those clowns in their own group to not come to the table. So um, make sure that you're getting what you need from your group mates. Um, the last section, let's see what's going on here. The last section, I actually have multiple selfies in our face-to-face -face lab. I have you guys draw pictures of what you see, but, dude, you guys are going to be selfie, what, proficient, selfie proficient people, <laughs> whatever that means. And then here's some more questions. When you edit the questions, when you answer these questions, you're welcome just to edit this and go in and type in your responses just right underneath each um, question and you can format that however you want. Again, don't forget that once you're done, you have to go in and submit the assignment so that I know that you're done and I can go in and grade this thing and assess how it went. Um, how do you feel? Uh, can you tell how I feel? <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit anxious about this one. I feel like um, I just want to make sure y'all are okay and that you are flexible and that you are um, not getting cranky because this is a process that we all are going to be figuring out and improving upon, and it's what you're trading for the chance to do this online class. If you aren't good with this one, man, because um, they're all going to be like this. Like this is what the labs are going to be like. Okay. Holler at me if you have any questions, and I'm actually excited. Like, you guys, this is good. We'll see how it goes. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye.